you have any news of my... Did you? I'm sorry. How did he die? The tower was a sunwing nest. He went in there looking for cover, but... He was holding on to that when I found him. Horace. I read the data on it. It had a map that can help your people get the lay of the land without risking more scouts. All of us sharing it with Bohai right now. It's a good thing your brother protected it. I'd trade all the data in the legacy to have my little brother back. But I'm glad that something meaningful came from his death. As promised, you now have access to my weapon stock. If you bring me the right resources, I can make you anything you see there. Actually, why don't you give this a try? One of our best. And if it's of use, you know where to find more. Thank you. I'm really sorry for your loss. I know you are. And I'm grateful. serve you well in battle. The Ancestor has returned. By the Ancestors. You're back. Is that? I'm sorry. It's broken. Our last hope. No. There has to be a way to fix it. How? We just need to replace the batteries and the sensor unit. Right, because they're just lying around a jungle for us to find. Wait. The ancient fleet. It might have what we need. What ancient fleet? When we abandoned our ship, we were washed ashore on a beach southwest of here. There were ships built by the ancestors there. Overseer Bohai will never let us go there. He won't risk losing any more navigators. He needs us to guide the fleet home. No one's going home without a working gyro compass. I can get them for you. You'll need to look for a sensor unit. They're usually on a ship's antenna. And batteries. Three of them. They're small, so they might be hard to find. I've got something for that. We put our faith in you once again, Ancestor. They're taking our supplies again?
guess it's not gonna hurt much. Harry and Christy are seeing the planning to ships in this area. I should take a look. There. A sunken ship. Maybe it has what Harry and Christie need to fix the gyro compass. The ship's on tunnel. Let's hope the sensor unit is still intact. Sensor unit. There is an order hidden. This is the USS Anchorage, hailing anyone who's left. The Medina, the Omaha, and the New Orleans are down, and the swarm just cracked the Harris open like an egg. Concentrate fire. Maybe we can still take it down. I think we've got a pig on the Hamilton! Lost it! Sensor's down! We're sailing blind! That sounds like their sensor unit was taken out. But they were trying to reach other ships. Guess I should find the batteries now. My focus should pick them up. to go. Set that machine on fire. We'll take a look inside that shipwreck. See if there's any power sources there. Take a look inside that shipwreck. See if there's any power sources there.
Focus picked up coordinates from that transmission I found. If there's more shipwrecks there, we might have an intact sensor. Faster way to get to those coordinates I found. Down now. ship has an antenna with a dread wing perched on it. Great. We have to do it before I can look for the sensor to climb it.
should be able to check out that antenna now. Sensor unit. This should be all the hearing and Christian need. Looks like there's one more transmission in here. This is the Hamilton. Anchorage, your transmission has been received. Targeting the lead Horus. Just lost the starboard missile battery. Can't fire. We're empty. Damn it. Captain, there's nothing left to fire. Your orders. Set a course for the Horus chassis. Ramming speed. Going down. from the old world. That building doesn't look like any of the ruins around here. Maybe it's underwater now.
Part of the giant bridge in the domed building. And with all of these submerged ruins around here, we should take a dive. spot.
think I'm out of range of the vista point. I'm gonna try again. I could look around with my focus, try to match the vista point image. Okay, let's see. There's the bridge in the distance and a domed building. Doesn't look like any of the ruins nearby. But maybe it's underwater. Hey. I found what you need. <sighs> Thank you. I'll get working on the gyro compass immediately. I'm coming home, Meandra. <sighs> You've done us a great kindness, Aloy. Christia is not the only one with people waiting back home. She'll be able to fix that gyro compass in no time. We'll never be able to thank you enough. But this should be a start. If you need anything, tell Bohai to contact Alva. I'm sure she can help. May the ancestors steer us true. Having a good day? I can't believe we're actually going home. Oh, right there. He's not First, wow. We need to put this thing together. It's the overseer's uh, Right.
Luke can survive freezing, so can I. I never thought I'd see metal bound to flesh. Hey, you're back. What's wrong with your shoulder? Yeah, it hurts a little. Yeah, maybe a lot. What'd you do? Well, I tried to arm wrestle with Catalo. Yeah, maybe that wasn't such a great idea. I was just curious to see if that new arm of his was as strong as it looked. It turns out it really is. And let me know if you find any sons of Prometheus in Baron Light. I will. Don't worry. Aloy, do you... Aloy, I'm glad you're here. I wanted to give you this for helping me get the data on Leviathan. I didn't really know what to give you, so I asked Zoe what you might like. Thanks, Alpha. I'll put it to good use. Anything new around here? Kotalo showed me the schematics for his new arm. I recall reading about robotic limbs within the legacy, but I never thought I'd see one in action. Technology like that would be treasured back home. Think of what it could do for injured workers or soldiers. But knowing the Imperial family, they would use it for different purposes, their own. Replacing body parts as they grow older, like the Zenith. <sighs> exactly. Have you looked through the data we recovered on Leviathan? There is much to sort through still, but I believe we'll be able to get it operational and turn back the floods. And I've given more thought to everything we've uncovered about the Ancestors. The Overseers would have us believe they were infallible paragons. But Pharaoh wasn't. Not even close. His greed led to machines that devoured the world. The archive of the Old One's knowledge destroyed, just to erase his mistakes. So, when we learned that Eileen had a hand in covering up hundreds of deaths, I started to think they were all the same. Selfish, egotistical, cruel. But, in the end, it's not that simple. The truth isn't a straight line of ink on a crisp scroll. It's a splatter, smudged, and faded on stained parchment. I wish more Quen could see that, instead of looking the other way, or twisting the truth to serve their own schemes. I doubt Bohai would agree with you. No, nor the rest of the Board of Overseers. As Eileen said, it's easier to believe the lie is truth, but it's worth fighting for. And this Diviner, at least, won't settle for anything less. For that, I thank you, Aloy. I should go. The ancestors walk with you. We can't ignore the I see you've got your new arm ready to go. Yes. It still feels strange. I've gotten used to the absence, but no matter. I'm sure I will need it before the attack on the Zenith base is through. I haven't seen you since the battle at the Grove. How are you holding up? I saw you fly on the wings of the Ten and paralyze Regala's army with lightning. I would say that I am... <sighs> inspired. Thank you, I guess. It is I who should be thanking you. Things will get ugly once the Zenus realize we're in their base. You'll need every trick you've ever learned. I would have it no other way. Many soldiers died in the old world to make sure we stood here today. We will endure on their behalf. Though, 
I am curious how you intend to defeat the Zenith's defenses without an army of our own. Leave that to me. Just make sure you're ready to fight. As you say. You have more than earned my trust. Look, I know you're probably not happy about keeping Regala around, but I want her on our side when we fight the Zeniths. It is more than she deserves. Even so, I will not question your judgment. Thank you, Catalo. Anything new going on I should know about? The Quen has been more insistent than usual, asking about the visions at the Grove. Her pursuit of knowledge is relentless. The Ten would have a hard time fighting her off. Just think of her like one of your chaplains. Yes. Only more persistent. Did you meet Tilda? There is something about her that... doesn't seem natural. I wouldn't be surprised if my sword went through her and... and she didn't bleed at all. Honestly, with her? Nothing would surprise me. I bet people are curious about that new arm of yours. None more than our Quen ally, I assure you. She couldn't wait to take it apart and figure out how it works. I gave her the data I used to build the thing, hoping I would satisfy her curiosity instead. Good luck with that. Your people keep mentioning the Wings of the Ten. What exactly does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings and leapt into battle from the sky. For us, to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess. It is why the challengers leap into the arena during the cool route. And now, you have done it. <laughs> like the deeds of the Ten themselves, it will never be forgotten. So, tell me, how did it feel? I won't lie. Pretty good. I can only imagine. I have to go. But I'll be briefing everyone on the plan soon. Understood. Switch to a private log? Okay, so, regional control center nine. Design of the facilities coming along. When Gaia finally builds it, it'll have everything it needs. Except personality. So, I'm going to sneak in my own mark. A, a couple of flourishes. Starting with this little tucked away hideout. August would have gotten a kick out of it. He loved hidden passages. Like the kind in old English castles. But I've got something bigger planned. My piece de resistance, if you will. One of Studius Fordis's many schools. It's a pain getting him to paralyze. Still, he didn't deserve to be run down by Regola's riders. Just you wait, Far. We're taking those space lights down.
Looks like some kind of maintenance space. It was. This place smells wrong. No sand or wind, only cold steel. Others up there, your squad. They can hold their own. As for this base, it may not be what you're used to, but it is a shelter. Call it what it is a cage. You came here on your own for the battle you promised. So for now, I wait in my cage for your word. Tell me when to strike. The whole time I've been in the West, I've been fighting you and your rebels. I'd at least like to know why. You were among the enemy. What more is there to know? Why did you do it? Dorok, Jiroka, Makalo, and the Karja pushed into the desert to raid our people. My brother's squad was among the first to intercept them. But the Karja captured them, strung them up, and burned them alive as an example. It was too late. I found them by the sound of their screams. So you wanted vengeance? Vengeance? No. I wanted devastation. To tear down the Karja's cities and drown the land in blood. Hunt down every last survivor and grind their bones until the sky chokes on the dust. But my chief betrayed me. Betrayed the Tanakh. How did Hikaro betray you? Hikaro called on the clans to resist the Karja's red raids. But we did more than just defend. We hunted them. And they fled as children before a pack of claw striders all the way to their border. There we ripped down their stone walls. Their domain was ours for the taking. But when it came time to push on, Hikaro ordered us to fall back. What soldier retreats when slaughter is at hand? The kind who wants peace for their people. Peace is just a lull between vendettas. But I thought my chief had greater tactics than mine, so I stood by him, even when he allowed that filthy Karja to join our ranks. Fashav. I enjoyed watching him die at the embassy. He should have been put down when we first captured him on the field. Instead, he coral made him a marshal. Fashav told me how he became a marshal. He earned it just like any Tanakh. It was an insult. No outlander can ever deserve to wear our armor, bear our marks. And then a Karja messenger was brought before us? That's when I knew. I had to run my blade through Akaro and drag his treacherous corpse to the Gates of the Sun.
What happened when the Karja messenger appeared before Hikaru? The quivering priests bore a message from their new king. No more war. No more raids. Suddenly, the Karja wanted to talk peace. An embassy at the very fortress we tore down? A true Danak would never take a Karja truce. Their blood exists to be spilled. But Akaro lapped up the priest's message. He showed himself a Karja loving traitor when he accepted. That's when I challenged him. And lost. His mercy was just another sign of his weakness. I vowed never to rest until the debt was repaid, with him on his knees before me. So with an army of soldiers and machines at my back, I returned. The day you got in my way. The deal you made. Override tech in exchange for an assault on the Zenith base. How did Silence approach you? That name means nothing to me. My agreement was with the Asarama Sarah and her sons of Prometheus. So all this time, you didn't even know who you were really dealing with? And you trusted an outlander? If it was a trick, I would have crushed her. But she spoke with the same burning hatred for the Karja. And she offered me the chance to run them down with machines. The terror in your enemy's eyes when they see you charge. You know what I'm talking about. I bet you felt it. I don't think so. What about your end of the deal? Would you have honored it? Had I killed Akaro and become chief, these Zeniths would have been the first of the tribe's victories. But because of you, my people will continue to consort with the enemy. A tribe of weaklings. <laughs> Because of me, hundreds of Tanakhs won't throw away their lives in a battle they can't win. <laughs> Are you really going to fight alongside me? I have no reason to betray you. Really? I failed to kill Hakaro, failed to eliminate you. No Tanakh would follow me now. The Karja remain out of my reach, cowering behind their walls. All I have left are the screams of those long dead and unending rage. So show me where to bury it. Alright. I guess we'll both face the end soon enough. Ever since you got in my way, I've wanted to see your bones burned white beneath the sun. But if I'm to die in battle, then it might as well be with the one who flew with the wings of the ten. I'll let you know when it's time to move out. <laughs> <laughs>